These images are unforgettable for many across the state and the country, in fact. In the days after George Floyd was murdered, what started as peaceful protests ended with parts of Minneapolis burning as rioters hit the streets. Well, now the city is working to make sure they're ready to handle critical incidents like those. Yeah, they sent several workers off to Maryland for training, and now they're back with some lessons they say they've learned. Fox 9's Karen Scullin joining us with more. And so, Karen, what are officials saying that they're taking away from this? Well, FEMA, or the Federal Emergency Management Agency, hosted this training session for the city that was designed to help city leaders streamline their management should chaos unfold in the future. The unrest following the murder of George Floyd wasn't one incident, it was dozens for days. And that made managing it incredibly challenging. But the city of Minneapolis says there has been a lot of progress since then, so any future chaos should have more control. We are all better prepared today than we were just a year ago. An after-action report on how the city handled things made 27 recommendations, which the city says are now complete. One of the biggest achievements was finding trust and camaraderie across city departments. And figuring out how we work together as a full enterprise was of critical importance. The pinnacle putting the city in what they say is the ready position was a FEMA training session in Maryland in which 70 workers attended and were part of a simulated unrest incident. They all learned what role they play should another round of chaos unfold. For MPD and MFD, um, it's both working in an incident command and a unified command. For emergency management, that's running an emergency operations center. And for city communications, it's the joint information center. And for the mayor, through the support of emergency management and the community safety commissioner, making strategic and policy level decisions. Minneapolis residents will also be kept in the loop more with a new alert system in place starting today. It's called Minneapolis Alerts. Will allow Minneapolis residents to sign up and to be able to have a variety of types of information pushed out towards them. But it will not only include public safety information, but weather info, infrastructure incidents, along with happier events going on in and around the city. Now you can get that information through an app that you can download. That app is called Safety 911, or you can get text messages with that information. In any case, we'll tell you how to do both of those things on our website. Just go to fox9.com. We're live in Minneapolis, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.